did Bioware deliver on these patch notes or what? This is going to be a very big patch and it's actually releasing sooner than expected. So a lot to talk about within this post right here posted officially by Jesse, Community Manager on Anthem. It says Anthem Update 1.0.3. So yes, tons of stuff in here. So many changes, but welcome back guys. How are you guys doing? It's open world games. Let us dive straight in right now. Let's do this. I know it's a late night upload, isn't it? Double upload today, but you know, the patch notes did release and I'm like, you guys need to see this. You guys need to know about this. So here we are. Let's do this. Uh, so first of all, it says this. Hey, freelancers below, you will find the update notes for all the fixes and improvements that the team has been working on. The current plan is for the patch uh, 1.0.3 to go out between 7 a.m and 9 a.m. Central Time on March 9th. Everyone here at Bioware is already hard at work on the next update to continue making Anthem better with each patch. We thank you for all of your feedback, bug reports, and support. Strong alone, stronger together. Jesse. All right, so let's do this. So uh, also remember, I will be live streaming tomorrow or whenever you're watching this video, just look out for me, fb.gg slash open world video games. And we're going to be checking out this patch together. So that's going to be freaking awesome seeing what has changed. Uh, but this was uh, some really important stuff right here. So uh, masterwork item balance updates. They've increased the base damage of the following masterwork weapons. As you can see here, the Renil Renil's Blaze, Rolling Carney, Cycle of Pain, The Last Stand, Glory's Result, Insult and Injury, Sentinel Vengeance, Gnosis Bomb, Vasa Surprise, Soothing Touch, Renewed Courage, and Artinia's Gambit. All have been uh, given quite a buff here at the base damage level. So that's really exciting news. It means masterworks are now even more valuable. So that's freaking sweet. All right, so let's keep going here. Also, it says masterwork item bug fix. It says Renault's, uh, Renault's Blaze, excuse me, uh, will no longer roll with incorrect inscriptions. A blade of shielding now provides the proper boost in shield and armor. Batch of Devastation will now generate more ultimate charge when triggered. It should no longer be possible to stack the effect from Gunslinger's Mark more than once. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, it says this for high level fixes and changes. Respawn restrictions have been removed. Respawn timers are now based on the activity a player is in. Crit path, agent missions, and other non end game missions now have a respawn timer of 10 seconds. Now, strongholds, legendary contracts, and other in-game missions now have a respawn timer of 30 seconds. The respawn timer free play remains unchanged. As for loot changes, it says common white and uncommon green drops will no longer appear for players that are level 30. Woohoo! Congratulations! It says improved stability for all platforms. This includes fixes for a number of issues that were causing crashes or connection problems. And then audio improvements fix a number of issues that could cause audio to drop out. I had that happen actually recently. I am thrilled to hear about that. It sucks, especially when it happens when you're streaming. You're like, dang it. Gotta restart this whole game right now in front of everyone. But it sounds like uh, that's gonna be more of a non issue now. So that's good news. All right, let's keep going here. So next up, it says item balance updates. It says increase the base health of wind wall and bulwark point to provide better scaling and higher difficulties. The duration of these has been reduced to 20 seconds down from 60 seconds. And then burst mortars damage has been increased to 300 up from 145 and its cooldown has been reduced to six seconds down from 10 seconds its description has also been fixed right there so some buffs going on uh love it right there all right next up it says this flat cannons uh damage has been increased to 42 up from 30 battle cry's description has been updated to explain that it also reduces the resistances of affected targets and then wrath strikes uh, damage has been increased to 250, up from 200, and it will now apply elemental effect to targets based on the active aura. It says, note, description text for Wraith Strike will be updated in 1.0.4. So, yeah, they're already planning out the next patch right now and already working on that one. So, they're really intensely rolling out the patches for this game, and I'm thrilled by that, to be blunt. Honestly... Uh, it would be nice not to have any patches. It would be nice if the game released uh, solid, but it's great to see Bioware working so hard to get this uh, these patches rolling out. All right, we got so much stuff to go over. This is crazy. It's going to be one long video. All right, so 
Next up, says general fixes and improvements. It says fix a number of issues that were blocking players from accessing the forge. All missions should now properly end when all conditions have been met. The inbox now properly displays information on PC. The inbox is found in the news feed. Fix an issue that would cause players to be unable to interact with NPCs in Fort Tarsus. The vault is no longer no longer, excuse me, accessible from the forge. This change was made to improve performance. Interesting. I saw a bunch of people on Reddit. You know, they weren't even complaining about that. They're like, I don't even go to the vault when I'm roaming around. So, yeah. But it seems like overall, people don't really mind. All right, next up, it says, fix an issue that would cause the game to hang when entering menus while on expedition. Titans will no longer respawn on missions after they are defeated. Example, if players defeat two out of three Titans and then wipe on the third, the first two will not reappear when players respawn during a mission. Server shutdown messages will now appear less often. The ability to quick play into Stronghold has been added back to the game. Mouse button 4 is no longer bound to the back button for PC players. Sweet. And then it says this. Crashes that occurred while selecting certain conversation options when interacting with an NPC have been fixed. And then players no longer should get stuck at the end of the Tomb of General Tarsus mission. And then players should now run into less issues during quick play missions. Additional improvements to quick play, quick play will be coming in future updates. Good to hear. Now players should no longer get stuck behind fog walls on missions or in strongholds as often and players should now receive credit for their be giants challenge when they are downed and when the event is active. So good news there. You're not going to be missing out on any loot if you are still down. All right, next up it says improve the audio when defeating creatures to uh, provide better feedback. Change wording for server shutdown message better indicate when the server, server is shutting down, not the entire game server. Players may now launch an exhibition from anywhere within the launch bay and Fort Tarsus and PS4 LED lights will now change based on the javelin being used. Cool. It should now be harder for players to get stun locked by certain enemy compositions. Sweet. Yeah, stuns. Dang. I, I can't stand them, you know, to be blunt. All right. Next up says the values on max flight time inscriptions have been increased. The appearance of the N7 vinyl on Legion of Dawn armor has been improved. Halleck will now properly face players during certain dialogue scenes. And the message, that one's making me laugh. The, and the message opened the cortex to track the Legionnaire challenges were no longer pop up after completing the appropriate challenges. All right. Held it together there. And then next up it says this, Strongholds fixed an issue that would cause players to get stuck at the entrance of the sewers in the Temple of Scar. Stronghold, sweet. And then next up it says creature updates. This is where it gets really cool. It says Titans, we have made several balance changes to all variations of Titans. Really cool. I'm going to have to dig into that one and see what's up. It says this, reduced overall damage mitigation from 100% to between 70 and 75% depending on the damage type. Increase the time that weak points are exposed. Fixed an issue that prevented effects from applying and thus preventing combos. Increase the damage the Titans take from weak point hits. So they've made some really cool adjustments to Titans. I think it's going to be a lot more fun battling with them this time around. All right. It also says this. Lesser Titan weak points have been changed to always to be active. Then improve the collision on the ring and seeking projectile attacks. This should make... Uh, them easier to dodge and then decrease the radius of seeking projectile attack decrease the damage done by self-destruct ability all right so overall i think they're really good improvements to the titan so that's great to hear all right it says frozen scar enforcers and scrappers can no longer move or attack while frozen the monitor's health has been greatly reduced in the heart of rage stronghold and then it goes on to say this force players will be less likely to be repeatedly staggered by heavy attacks Adjusted the force applied to some creature attacks down, which will lower the frequency of players being staggered. So they're making more adjustments to make the game less frustrating because of these stuns and staggers and stuff like that. They want you in control all the time. And remember Battlefront 2 had a lot of problems with this, and they continue to improve Battlefront 2 on that front as well. Speaking about dice and what they're doing with that game. All right, next up it says damage and item scaling changes. Adjusted the damage scaling of secondary damage sources these now scale with average item power. This will allow those uh, these damage sources to better scale in the Grandmaster difficulties. This will increase the scaling of the following. Says this, melee damage, combo damage, ultimate damage, status effects, and item procs. Uh, proc from Yuvini's Th Thunder as an example right there. So there you have that. All right, we got a masterwork. Sweet. Uh, next up, it says this item power scaling has changed to better reflect the actual power of the item based on its rarity. This is applied to all items retroactively. Players will see the power of their items go up. All right, sweet. So great news there. A lot of you guys were wondering that. Now, next up, it says this. 
Gameplay bug fixes. The ultimate ability bar will no longer appear full at the start of the mission when it actually isn't full. Sweet. And then weapon recoil will now stop once an XO is looking straight up and fix a number of animation issues that can occur when the Colossus was using its shield. Uh, next up, it says it should no longer be possible for the Interceptor to become frozen while starting up their ultimate. Interceptor aura damage will now deal the correct type of damage based on its active aura. And then players can no longer equip abilities from one javelin to another. I never got that bug. I kind of wish I had. Dang it. It would have been freaking awesome having like interceptor abilities on top of a Colossus. <laughs> can you imagine? All right. It says the Colossus can now use gear faster after being attacked by a heavy hit from enemies. The Colossus can now shield charge through destructible objects such as explosive canisters or harvest nodes. And the Colossus now recovers faster after crashing into walls. This is just all means that the Colossus is even more of a badass. Furthermore, it says this item bug fixes. Wind wall should no longer block or interfere with other player abilities. Ranger Grenadier component will now correctly lower the cooldown of grenade abilities and fix an issue where certain weapons were not firing where the crosshairs were aimed. The ice blast ability for the storm javelin now has the primer icon correctly displayed. Sweet. Uh, right, and then it says this, in addition to the above updates, we wanted to let you know of some other known issues that the team is working on fixing. So this is what they're going to be doing after this patch here. They're going to be looking into updating the following. When loading into the game for the first time after a patch, the shields and armor on a javelin will be incorrect. The first time a player enters an access free play or any other activity, the issue will fix itself. Players are not receiving their level 20 match consumables. Players uh, were granted item blueprints instead of the recipes when they hit this level previously. Some players may experience audio cracking while in Fort Tarkis, Fort Tarsus, and then there may be some instances where players are unable to quit out of a quick play mission through the map UI. Now it goes on to say this, a number of challenges may not be tracking properly, such as the objectives under the legendary freelancer challenge some players may encounter a bug see this where they were unable to interact with any objects or players visual effects on javelin thrusters are not functioning properly uh while stormy weather is present in game weird and then an activity mes messages may not be able to be dismissed after a player returns from being away all right so cool then it says this, there are a number of origin error messages that some PC players may encounter, including origin showing that it was offline when it actually is online. The UI may not display events for some players when an event has spawned nearby in free play. And then there is a bug where armor pips can change in between activities. This is both display and gameplay issues. So there's the stuff that they're looking to uh, fix going forward after this patch. But really cool to see that Bioware is releasing this one earlier. We were expecting it, of course, to be releasing, releasing on march 12th so great news here they seem to be uh releasing their patches earlier than uh they indicated previously so i'm hyped for that and yes again remember i'm going to be streaming uh the patch you know the changes of course check it out join me i'm going to be streaming at fb.gg slash overall video games uh drop on in say hello let's talk about the patch let's talk about anthem and all sorts of stuff but guys thanks for watching stay tuned here for more anthem and open world gaming goodness and i We'll see you next time. Take care.